Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan, and you are watching on Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. I know it says we're going to be playing Gauntlet, but we are not going to be playing Gauntlet. We are going to be giving you the audio call of Rocky Graziano versus Jake LaMotta, 15 rounds from Yankee Stadium. A What If Promotions matchup. This fight never took place, but I have simulated the bout on Title Bout Championship Boxing. And so, here we go. Rocky Graziano's record was 67 wins, 10 losses, 6 draws. Of those 67 wins, 52 were by knockout. And let's move on to uh, Jake LaMotta's record quite quickly. Let's bring that up here. Jake LaMotta's career record was 83 wins, 19 losses, and 4 draws. Of those 83 wins, 30 by knockout. Both men held the middleweight titles in their careers. So let's move on to Yankee Stadium. Where the fight will be taking place. And my audio call. This was a a little uh, pre-bout information. This bout was briefly made, but then never materialized. Uh, as Graziano ended up having a hand injury. Both Jake LaMotta and Rocky Graziano grew up, grew up in the same neighborhood in New York. And uh, the fight was very anticipated at a point in time and would have been one of the biggest fights in boxing but it never did take place and this is why Al Red Sox fan YouTube station brought to you by my what if promotions has simulated this bout and I will give you the audio call very soon as we're just gonna go over I chose Yankee Stadium because it's a great place for historical matchups and uh, it's a packed house here. The ring announcer is Johnny Addy, and the referee is Ruby Goldstein. Both fighters are at fighting at their peak prime conditions for this uh, simulation 15-round middleweight bout. Uh, Graziano's trainer is Whitey Bimstein. His cut man is Eddie Aliano. And for... Jake LaMotta. Let's get that information here for you. Hold on one moment. Alrighty. Let's get here and get that information. Jake LaMotta's trainer is Al Cerdo and his cut man is Dan Danny Florio. And once again, this bout was simulated by Title Bout Championship Boxing. We're going to have the call in a moment. So here we go. We have a very packed house here in Yankee Stadium. Much anticipation for this huge middleweight matchup of historical portions brought to you by What If Promotions. Um... Uh, most boxing aficionados would and have picked Jake LaMotta to win this fight, feeling that he would be too strong. My opinion is, I think they're both very strong fighters. Graziano would hold the edge in, in punching power, as he had tremendous punching power. Jake LaMotta was uh, physically strong, so was Rocky Graziano. Um, but I believe I have watched specials on boxing, and I know Teddy Atlas and Burt Sugar both believe that Jake LaMotta would would have won a fight between Rocky Graziano and and uh, Jake LaMotta. So, that's why I simulated it. Again, it's a simulation. Doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but it's fun to do. So, here we go. Ruby Goldstein's calling both fighters to the center of the ring, giving them the following instructions. 
asks if there's any questions. No questions from the Graziano corner. No que questions from the Lamada corner. They both go back and get ready for the opening bell. And there's the bell that sounds round one. Graziano slides to the center of the ring. And Lamada scores with a quick left-right combination. Graziano lands a solid uppercut in retaliation. Lamada is staggered. Lamada has Graziano pinned and trapped now as he grabs onto him. Lamada and uh, pushes him away but misses with the follow-up punches. There's a right cross from Lamada that lands flush. Lamada connects with a left-right combo. Graziano misses with an overhand right. Both fighters come in and start landing vicious combinations. Body and head as they stand and trade in the center of the ring. And now they clinch. Graziano looks over to his corner. Ruby Goldstein orders them to break, and they break. Graziano uh, feints with a left jab and lands a jarring hook to Lamada's head. Lamada looks like he's hurt by that punch. Graziano is trying to um, capitalize on this situation. Uh, Graziano continues to try to follow up. Graziano has Lamada pinned on the ropes. Graziano connects with a violent hook to the chin again. But Lamada has, just shakes his head and smiles and says it didn't hurt. Graziano backs him again to the ropes and pounds away. Lamada plants across the Graziano rib cage and stops him momentarily. Lamada unleashes another flurry of punches. Graziano answers right back. Both men fall into a clinch as they're now wrestling. Referee Goldstein orders them to break. And they're hitting on the break. He again orders them to break. And they break. Both fighters pawing a little bit. Pawing, pawing a little bit. Graziano faints and lands a tremendous right to the head. Lamato is shaken by those blows. Graziano follows up. Misses with a right. Lands a left to the body. Misses with another wild right. Pushes Lamato to the ropes. And there goes the bell for round one. Wow, the crowd is going wild here at Yankee Stadium in this action-packed round. It looked to me that Graziano got the slight better of Lamada in that round. A lot of encouragement in the Graziano corner. By uh, Whitey Bimstein, uh, Eddie Aliano is uh, looking at uh, some slight swelling already on Graziano. In Lamada's corner, Al Cerdo saying, keep up the good work, you know. Um, they both had their moments in that round. And uh, we're getting ready for round two here. And there goes the bell for round two, and Ruby Goldstein signals them to fight. All right. Graziano scores with a left-right combination, and now a right to the ribs. Lands another jab, another right-left combination, snapping Lamada's head back. And now... They fall into a clinch, and now they're wrestling and hitting on the break, and, and, and referee Ruby Goldstein once again orders them the break, and now he forces them to break. Lamada feints a jab and lands a cross right through Graziano's uh, guard, and uh, ducks a jab and lands a, another good combination to Graziano's body as Lamada starts to press the attack and push Graziano back. Graziano scores with a quick hook to the head, and a left to the body, and a wild right misses. Graziano has Lamada pinned on the ropes. These fighters are really going at it as they exchange combinations on the ropes, as Graziano is showing that he is just as physically strong as Jake Lamada. As, the, as he pounds away to the body, he is, he, he's pounding away to the body here, and has Lamada on the ropes. Now they clinch. Graziano with his free hand kit just keeps digging those punches to the body. And, and referee Ruby Goldstein separates them. They fall into a clinch again. And again, they're hitting and holding. And they, once again, referee Ruby Goldstein separates them. And on the break... Oh, a tremendous hook by Lamada to Graziano's jaw. His knees buckled there. That, uh, Graziano is stunned. And, and now he's bleeding from that punch over his eye. Uh, and he's pawing at the blood. The blood is flowing from the cut. Oh, that's a bad break early here in this fight in round two. That Graziano's uh, left eye is cut. And that's bad news to have a cut this early in, such a, in, in any fight, but such a big fight. 
And now Lamada start, starts picking at it with a jab. Uh, Lamada has a very good jab. You know, uh, uh, some people, he's, uh, even though he's a physically aggressive fighter, is a very good boxer. And he's just jabbing away, and Graziano is trying to... That blood is really bothering him. And now a combination he lands on Graziano. He was stunned by those blows. We're coming up to the end of the round. Lamada pouring it on here, and the bell sounds. The bell sounds. Big round for Jake Lamada there. As both fighters go back to their corners, they're going to have a lot of work to do uh, in Graziano's corner. Uh, Eddie Aliano, one of the best cut men in the business, uh, is, is going to have a lot of work to do. And Graziano's on his stool, and they're feverishly working on that cut. And uh, after two rounds, our unofficial uh, scorer at ringside, who's with me at the broadcast, has it one round Graziano, one round Lamada, giving Graziano the first round and Jake Lamada the second round. We're getting uh, ready for the start of round three, and there's the bell, and both fighters come out. Uh, and Graziano's, it looks like they did a pretty good, Eddie Aliano did a good job on that eye. Uh, and it looks like he stopped the bleeding for now, but how long that will last, I don't know. Uh, Lamada rushes out and uh, uh, throws a jab and then bulls Graziano up against the ropes. And uh, Graziano tries to tie him up. And both men, once again, start pounding away on the inside, tying each other up, getting their hands free, punching to the head and body, just the exchanges. The crowd is going wild here as they're exchanging on the ropes. And once again, they fall into a clinch, hitting on, on the, with the free hands and then wrestling. And referee Ruby Goldstein has them break. And he moves him to the center of the ring. Lamada is using that jab, trying to reopen that cut on Graziano's left eye. Graziano is uh, looking to uh, land a very big punch here. He's pawing with his jab, fainting with his jab. And uh, now Graziano jab right to the body and pushes Lamada back into the ropes. Lands a, a good combination of the body and head. And a uh, left hook, hard left hook, uh, catches Lamada. Uh, another violent combination by Graziano. Lamada is very shaken by those blows. The man who has the iron chin is shaken on the ropes. And Graziano continues to pound away on the ropes with left-right combinations to the head and body. He's just, he has Lamada pinned on the ropes. And for those people who thought Jake Lamada was going to bully Rocky Graziano, uh, they are sadly mistaken as Graziano continues to pin Lamada on the ropes and pound away with combinations. Lamada seems helpless to stop this onslaught, this fury. And now it looks like some swelling has started on uh, Lamada's eye as we're coming to uh, about 25 seconds left in the round. And Rock Graziano is just pummeling Lamada on the ropes. He's just pinned him on the ropes. Some people might think Lamada is playing a little a little coy here, but I don't feel so. And now they clinch finally, and they, there's a, some wrestling on the ropes. And the bell sounds as Ruby Goldstein breaks them. That was a very good round for Rocky Graziano. He landed a lot of big punches. Uh, he showed Lamada that he would not be bullied as he forced Lamada to the ropes and kept him pinned there for the majority of the round, pounding away with combinations uh, uh, to the head and body and swelling up, starting some swelling under... Uh, Lamada's left eye and actually to the side of it also as he landed some really damaging blows there. Um, they're very happy in the uh, Graziano corner. Whitey Bimstein is very, very happy. He says, keep up the good work, you know. Uh, let your hands go. Both men are throwing a lot of punches, and it, but in that round, Graziano was able to control that round beautifully. And, uh, um, over here with my unofficial scorer, he gives that round to Graziano, and we we have it now two rounds to one Graziano. As we get ready for the start of round four, both men get off their stools, and there's the bell, and they go to the center of the ring. And Lamada seems a little discouraged after taking uh, that that pummeling by Rocky Graziano. I, I don't. I think he might have thought that he was going to come in and cakewalk Rocky Graziano, with the way all the sports writers had it that he was just going to blow over Rocky Graziano, and it's just not happening early on. And here we go, as both men are in the center of the ring, 
And uh, Lamada keeps pumping out that jab. He's pumping out that jab, trying to reopen that cut over Graziano's left eye. Graziano is um, trying to throw some combinations here, but but Lamada is um, a little more better defensively this round. And now they fall into a clinch, and both fighters are holding and hitting and mauling and brawling. Graziano continues to work his free hand, and now gets both hands free and lands a good combination to the head and body and pushes Lamata back. Lamata uh, stops Graziano's attack with a quick left-right combination. And uh, Graziano continues now to move forward as now Lamata is becoming more of a counter-puncher, and he is landing his fair share of punches here as, as Graziano comes forward. Graziano is not known for a, a great defense, but... Um, so he is hitting Graziano on the way in as Graziano lands a little left hook to the body. Lamata continues to land that jab and, and, and right to the head and a right to the body here. And now they stand toe to toe and they start they start pounding away. But Graziano is getting the better of it as he is starting to pummel Lamata and again pushes him back. Lamata looks st uh, stunned. Graziano lands a nice uppercut. Lamata moves back to the ropes again. And now the swelling, you can see as they fall into a clinch, it, it, the swelling of that left eye is increasing for Jake Lamata. And right now, Graziano's left eye looks good as the cut has not reopened. And uh, the, uh, referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. Graziano tries to throw a haymaker right off of the break as he jumps back in, but misses wildly. They fall back in again. Graziano gets his hands free. And uh, both men now punching frantically on the ropes towards the end of this round. What a round of boxing here. The bell sounds. Very close round as both fighters go back to their corners. Both fighters go back to their corners. That's going to be a really tough round to score because, I mean, Graziano seemed to have the momentum at one point, but early on, Lamada was really controlling that round four with his jab and combinations here. But then Graziano came back, had him on the ropes, had him with some good combinations, but towards the end, they were both flat. Even though Graziano had Lamata pinned to the ropes, both men were landing hard shots. Graziano's shots seem to be harder, in my opinion. Uh, Lamata might be landing a, a, a few more, but Graziano definitely is landing the harder shots. Um, Whitey Bimstein in Graziano's corner. Once again, very happy with the work that Graziano is doing. And I think that the fans are truly enjoying this fight here at Yankee Stadium. And I think I'll, there's a lot of surprise so far. Um, I've just asked my unofficial scorer how he has it. And he gave the slight edge to Rocky Graziano in round four. So he we have it at three rounds to one. Again, this is all unofficial here. And uh, Al, Al Cerdo in um, Jake LaMotta's corner is telling him you got to stay off those ropes. Um you got to try to keep him in the center of the ring or push Graziano back. But I think Lamada has been caught a little surprised by how strong Graziano is, and Graziano is a strong fighter. Again, I don't understand why people just thought about this fight that Lamada would be able to bull Graziano all over the place. As we get prepared, now ready for round five. And there's the bell for round five, scheduled for 15. As both fighters go to the center of the ring. And uh, Graziano again. He, he just bulled. He's trying to bull Lamata back. They fall into a, a, a wrestling clinch. Pounding away with uh, the, the free hand again. And uh, Lamata pushes him away. And lands a quick combination. Quick combination. And a solid hook to Graziano's body. Uh uh, slows him up for a second. Lamata just continues to throw some combinations there. And uh, they fall into another clinch here. And look, Graziano seems like that body punch took some of the wind out of him. And uh, referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to, to break. They break. And uh, Graziano is now stepping back a bit. Lamata is pecking away with that jab trying to reopen the cut over his left eye, which Eddie Aliano has done a fantastic job keeping that uh, cut closed. Uh, Lamada lands another combination. Another combination landed by Lamada. And now both fighters 
stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with blistering combinations. They're just standing there wailing away at each other. Lamada getting a slightly better of this right now. Um, and Graziano pushes him away, tries to land a tremendous overhand right, but he misses. That's his go-home punch. If he hits you, you're going home because the fight's over. And uh, now he fall into a clinch again. Both men with that free hand pounding away to the body and head. And now they push away from each other. Lamata scores another quick combination. Uh, misses with an overhand right. Graziano was corner is screaming at him to finish strong as the round is coming to an end. And now Lamata is able to uh, pin Graziano's arm and continue to uh, hit Graziano as he has him pinned. And uh, that sounds the bell. That was a good round as both fighters go back to their corners. I believe that was a good round for uh, Jake Lamata there. Um, I was a little concerned in the Graziano corners or looking at his left eye, but we don't see um, any blood coming from there as Eddie Aliano has done a tremendous job on that cut over, over his left eye. And we're looking. Yes, we don't see any blood there. Um, let me quickly ask the unofficial scorer who's here with me how he saw that round. I, I felt it was a Lamada round. That was probably one of his best rounds of the fight. And he also agrees. So he's saying after five rounds, three rounds Graziano, two rounds Lamada. Um, Al Cerdo in Lamada's corner is very encouraged and uh, Danny Florio is working on that eye trying to keep that swelling down as round six quickly approaches here in what's been a tremendous middleweight matchup here at Yankee Stadium the crowd is really enjoying this I'm really enjoying this and I hope you're really enjoying this so round six and there's the bell um Graziano and Lamada once again meet in the center of the ring and just start wailing away on each other. Wow! Tremendous action here in the middle of the ring. And now uh, that punch appears to have uh, staggered Graziano. And Lamada is pushing him back. And he's trying to land combinations with that uh, off the jab. And they fall into another clinch quite quickly. But both fighters come out of the clinch and just continue to throw combinations. As, as Graziano is trying to end this fight right here and now. But he's throwing, but he's not really landing. Uh, as Grazia Graziano is throwing, but not landing. And Lamont is able to get so close that Graziano cannot land his haymaker right hand. As they both are fighting on the inside, but Lamada is a little quicker with his hands and uh, and landing better. As both men are, are fighting a tough, hard fight right now on the inside, and Lamada is getting the better of it, and and Lamada is really getting the better of it. Just combination after combination right now, as we are at almost past the midway point of this round, and now they fall into a clinch, and R referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. And they immediately, um, like billy goats, butt heads again. And they're just standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and Lamada's hands are just a bit quicker right now. And though Graziano is throwing punches, he is not landing punches. And Lamada is landing quick combinations to the head and body. And, and, and Graziano takes a few steps back. Lamada comes forward. And, and there's the bell. Oh, that was a good round for Jake Lamada as both fighters go back to their corners. And there's concern once again in Graziano's corner as they look at that eye, but it hasn't reopened. The cut over the, the left eye has not reopened, and there's no blood coming from Graziano's eye. Eddie Eliano has done a terrific job. They're very happy with that round in La Mata corner. Al Cerdo's ecstatic, and he says, that's what we want you to do. You know, use your jab. Don't give him time to throw his punches. As La Mata was boxing but was he was really boxing tight on the inside meaning he was letting his hands go and he was first to the punch but he was still using that jab to keep Graziano off balance even though he was he was fighting close up and anytime that Graziano uh, would try to get some distance for his overhand right which is his go home punch Lamada would quickly snap that jab in there and get his, his distance and then let his hands go to the body and head. So, let's go to the unofficial score. He gives round six to 
Jake LaMotta, and now we have it all even up at three rounds apiece as we are getting ready for the start of round seven. And this crowd is really enjoying this fight here, this capacity crowd here at Yankee Stadium. And uh, both fighters look ready to go at the beginning of round seven. Uh, whatever Al Cerdo said to LaMotta, he is pumped up for round seven. And there's the bell. And uh, both fighters once again... Uh, rush out at each other to throw a combination. And oh, LaMotta leads with his head. And it smashes into uh, uh, Graziano's eye. As they continue to pound away with each other. And, Gra and now Graziano lands a hard uppercut. Graziano has LaMotta hurt. And he's he's just trying. LaMotta's trying to hang on right now. And Graziano's trying to finish. He, LaMotta was staggered. The man of the iron chin was staggered. And Graziano uh, lands another uh, right cross here. And now LaMotta is reeling backwards to the ropes. And you can see more swelling as LaMotta goes to the rope. And Graziano presses the attack and continues to pound away. As he is pounding away on Jake LaMotta. And Jake LaMotta is trying to uh, roll with the punches right now. And he's... he's not even, he's throwing a few co uh, counter combinations, but right now it seems to me Graziano's getting the better of him on the ropes, and uh, LaMotta La lands a couple of nice jabs and a nice combination there, but Graziano again pins him to the ropes and lands to the head into the body. This is a very, very close round right now as we're at the midway point, and now um, Graziano continues to keep LaMotta on the ropes. Both men throwing combinations, but Graziano seems to be getting the better of it, and uh, he's trying to step back to land that overhand right. And uh, he's just not able to find that distance for his good overhand right. And LaMotta throws a combination. Graziano uh, is pushed back from the ropes. But lands a crushing uppercut. LaMotta is rattled by that and hurt. And uh, Graziano slides away from him to get some distance. LaMotta misses with a jab. And oh, a tremendous right hand to the rib cage. And down goes Jake LaMotta. Ruby Goldstein orders Graziano to the neutral corner and starts the count. One, two, three, four. The count reaches five. LaMotta is stunned. He's trying to get back to his feet. He's on his feet. Six, seven, eight. He takes the mandatory eight count. We are near the end of the round. Graziano tries to rush in to finish this off, but the bell sounds. There was just not enough time. The crowd is going wild with that knockdown. A tremendous round for Rocky Graziano. It was a close round before the knockdown. I felt that Graziano was winning the fight as he the round, I'm sorry, as he had Lamada pinned to the ropes. And then Lamada threw a combination, a good combination, and it seemed to move Graziano back a bit. And that's when LaMotta tried to land some bigger punches, and Graziano just ripped a uppercut, right uppercut hook type of punch and nailed LaMotta to the body, and he just went down. There's a lot of excitement in the Graziano corner, and even there's some shock and awe here at Yankee Stadium with the fans. As I think a lot of people were, see, were, were are hoping that Graziano wins, as both fighters are popular, but Graziano is the much more likable character, um, but just didn't believe that Graziano could win, um, are now feeling that Graziano can win, and there's some ringside experts who are very much in shock and worried about their pick of LaMotta right now. And there's a lot of swelling around LaMotta's eye here. And uh, we're getting ready for the start of round eight here. So we gave that round seven. And that would be a two-point round to Rocky Graziano. So in rounds, we have it um, four Graziano, three LaMotta. But in the point system, Graziano would be up. Uh, he gets two points for that. Two more points in that round because of the knockdown. And here we go for round eight. The bell sounds for round eight, and Graziano quickly rushes out to try to t continue the advantage that he had on LaMotta from that knockdown in round seven. And LaMotta scores a quick combination to uh, thwart the Graziano effort early on in this round. And uh, 
Al Cerdo uh, gave him a tremendous pep talk saying, what are you doing here? Don't blow this fight. And uh, both, once again, both fighters are standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, letting their hands go. And it's very even right now, early on in this fight, uh, in this round, I'm sorry. And they're both letting their hands go. But Lamada's hand speed on the inside is quick, quicker than Graziano's. And he is landing more punches here. Uh, not damaging blows, but they're hurtful blows. And then Graziano, they're just they're standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and now they fall into a clinch, and they're ordered to break. And I, right now, Lamata is controlling the, the early part of this round. And Graziano and Lamata continue to... Billy Goats go again. Head-to-head -head in the center of the ring, pounding away. Graziano's trying to force him back to the ropes, showing that he will not be bullied by Jake Lamata. And Graziano is starting to land some good shots to the body. And Lamada is starting to give ground. But Lamada connects with some solid punches there. That uh, Graziano is sent reeling to the ropes. Lamada now tries to press the attack. As Graziano is more hurt than I thought. Uh, Graziano throws a tremendous overhand right but is off target. Lamada leans on Graziano and fires a quick hook to the ribs. And, and, and just pounding away as Graziano is pinned on the ropes. Le to the head, right to the head. Now, Lamada going down to the body, up to the head, down to the body, up to the head. And Graziano trying to hold on. And there is the bell to end round eight. Good, good round. Lots of action. As both fighters go back to their corners. I, uh, I think Lamada won that round. I'm going to see what our unofficial scorer has it here and he gave a close round to Lamada so round wise after eight rounds we're seeing it four rounds apiece but point wise we believe that Graziano would be up by one point due to the knockdown and they are looking at Graziano's eye in his corner Eddie Aliano as uh, the abrasions not bleeding but it's 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 right it looks like it wants to start again so Eddie Aliano is once again working on it as he has been since this, the cut opened up early in this fight and he's done a wonderful job keeping it the blood contained and actually not bleeding at all as um they're trying uh, Danny Florio in Lamada's corner continues to try to work on that left eye with the swelling but that swelling's pretty bad for Lamada um so both men are going to be affected by um, left eye damage. Right now, Lamad is a little worse for the wear from that. And we're getting ready for the start of round nine. As both fighters um, get off their stool. And there's the bell. And referee Ruby Goldstein sends him to the center of the ring to fight. And quickly, Graziano cranks up a... Big combination to Lamada's jaw, and Lamada is hurt and is backed into the corner. Lamada is dipping and ducking, and, and Graziano lands with a hook on the side of the head. Lamada is trying to muscle his way out of the corner, um, but Graziano will have none of it, and he keeps him in the corner. And they now fall into a clinch, and they're holding and hitting and, refer and uh, wrestling, and referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break, and they break. But, again, Graziano just keeps him pinned in that corner. And the, he's working the head and body as both men are frantically throwing punches. But Graziano is getting the better of it right now. Um, landing the harder punches. Lamada might be landing a few more. But definitely the harder punches are by Graziano. Lamada is trying to pull his way out of the corner. But Graziano will have none of it. And that swelling on Lamada's eye is getting very ugly. And worse for the wear every moment. Every punch that Graziano lands on that side of his face is making that swelling so much more worse. And Graziano's eye still is holding up. The cut has not reopened. As he just, he has Lamata pinned and stuck in that corner and just pounding away. Pounding away. Uh, Lamata dipping and diving and trying to roll with the punches, not really throwing 
too many punches right now. I don't know if he's trying to have Graziano wear himself out, but this is not a good way to do that as he is taking tremendous shots here as Graziano is unloading as we're coming towards the end of this round number nine. And there is the bell for round number nine. That was a very good round for Rocky Graziano as Lamata goes back to his corner. That left eye swelling is very alarming. And they're going to have, Danny Florio is going to have to work very feverishly on that swelling in J on Jake LaMotta's eye. And we're in that corner right now. We're looking at that. And uh, that eye is going to be a tremendous hindrance. And uh, Eddie Aliano has really done a tremendous job in Graziano's corner, keeping that cut closed. Um, and they're very happy. So after nine rounds... We have it, the unofficial score and I have it, five rounds to four, but once again, the extra point for the knockdown. Uh, so we believe that uh, Graziano is up by two points. Again, totally unofficial. And uh, we're getting ready for the start of round 10 here. And the crowd has enjoyed every minute of this action-packed fight. And here goes round 10. There's the bell. Both fighters move to the center of the ring. And uh, the swelling is still there. They, they did what they could in Lamada's corner. But that swelling is still there. And uh, Lamada quickly uh, rushes out and uh, throws a jab and then pushes Graziano. Catches him off balance and is able to bull Graziano for the one of the first times. Uh, he starts the early bullying and he gets Graziano back into into his corner and he's starting to uh, try to work the body but both men are, are just mauling and brawling in that corner and trying to land punches with their free hands as they're billy goading each other with their heads and, and the referee's warning them about the heads and he's trying to get them to break and they break but they fall right back into each other trying to wrestle and maul. They Both men might have some slight fatigue right now but uh, this has been a tough physical fight. And once again, referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. And uh, But they continue just to stay in that corner. And uh, they're throwing combinations. Nothing of any real effect now as they fall again into the mauling and brawling tactics right now. And trying to use that free hand. Now referee Re Ruby Goldstein again breaks and almost pulls them to the center of the ring. Um... Uh, and here they commence the action again, and Lamada now starts throwing his jab. He's trying to stay a little more on the on the outside, using the jab to work his way in to get some quick combinations off there. But he's really not being too too effective. Graziano scores with a good combination to the body, and Lamada freezes for the moment and tries to tie up Graziano, but Graziano will have uh, none of it, and he throws another quick combination, and Lamada throws a combination. Oh, that eye does not look good. Does not look good as it's continuing to swell. And uh, and now Graziano is, is just pumping away with his jab. And he's not a big jabber, but he's he lands two, three really effective jabs and a solid right to the body. And uh, now Lamata just bull rushes Graziano to the ropes and tries to throw some combinations there. Not too much landed clean that I saw. They fall into a clinch. Graziano continues to work that free hand to the side of Lamada's head. Uh, as as Lamada tries to keep him pinned on the ropes, they break and they slide more towards the center of the ring. And a tremendous cross land by Rocky Graziano as he had the proper distance. And, and uh, Lamada just grabs on and he's holding on. As you can see, his legs buckle. The man with the iron chin was very stunned there. And uh, Graziano is trying to work his way free. And he's trying to follow up. But there's the bell. He was unable to follow up with any big punches. And um, Graziano, I believe, in my opinion, won that round in the last 30, 30 to 25 seconds of that round. As both fighters go back to their corner corners. And uh, Lamada's eye is, is swelling up. He has a, a balloon now, and, and his vision is going to be hampered. Um, and for Graziano, the cut over his eye has not reopened. And they're just doing a tremendous job in his corner regarding that cut. And let's go to our unofficial score. 
and see how he has it after round 10. He has it six rounds to four for Graziano, plus the point for the knockdown. So we have Graziano up by three points after 10. Again, this is unofficial. And uh, this has really been a mauling, brawling war here. The fans are on their feet uh, at the as the fight is being fought and they're just very excited about this fight and, it, and it's lived up to its billing so we're getting prepared for the start of round 11 and I think Graziano looks the better than Lamada right now um, even though Graziano had that cut early on the swelling around Lamada's eye left eye is just worsening by each round by each punch and there's the bell for round 11. And Lamada comes out very effectively throwing his jab, snapping Graziano's head back. And now he's just, wow, he's working that jab overtime. And, and Graziano is unable to right now get a rhythm as Lamada jab, 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 uh, hook to the body, clinch, push away. He has, he's done that early on right now. He's done that three or four times. And Graziano really hasn't landed anything. And we're already a minute into this round. And Lamada is really pumping that jab in. And now it looks like there is a trickle of blood from the left eye. And it looks like that uh, cut has reopened on Rocky Graziano here in, in round 11. And he's pawing at it. And that blood flow is now really starting to flow. And re referee Ruby Goldstein calls a halt to the action and tells Jake LaMotta to go to a neutral corner and brings Graziano over to the ropes for the ringside physician to take a look at it. The doctor is peering in at the wound, the cut, and there's a lot of blood coming from there. Graziano is... Uh, uh, extorting him, uh, exhorting him, I'm sorry, that he wants to go on, uh, that he does not want this fight to be stopped, and it would be a shame if they stopped this fight this way, um, as it's been a tremendous matchup. The doctor is telling, what is he telling, Ruby Goldstein? He says it's okay to continue, so he brings both fighters to the center of the ring and starts the bell up again. And Lamada quickly lands a quick combination. And he is just letting his hands go as the blood is just flowing down into Graziano's eyes. And Lamada is just firing away. Graziano is starting to back up a bit. And again, um, referee Rudy Goldstein calls a halt to the action. This could be it, folks. I mean, this is a second halt in a matter of, of 30 seconds as the blood is freely flowing into Graziano's eye. And again, he brings, he sends Lamada to a neutral corner here in round 11 and uh, sends Graziano over to the, the ropes. And the phys physician once again takes a look at it. And uh, he's saying it's no worse for the wear than it was uh, 20 seconds ago. And he's going to let this fight continue. So referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to come into the center of the ring in the fight. And Lamada tries to rush in. And Graziano lands a tremendous right on the button. Lamada is staggered. Graziano is going to try to finish it here as he has the urgency. As he knows that is a very bad cut. And he is pounding away. Pounding away at, at, at Lamada. And now Lamada fires back as both men standing toe to toe with uh, Graziano with a slight advantage here. Uh, the action is free and flowing. Uh, lefts and rights by both men. But Graziano seems to be landing the harder punches. And Lamada is giving ground. Lamada continues. Continues to give ground, but now Lamada comes right back, and both fighters, and there's the bell, exchanging at the bell, and the crowd is on its feet. Unbelievable action here at the at the end of round 11 as both fighters go to their corners, and uh, uh, Eddie Aliano comes rushing out to grab Graziano and bring him quickly back to the corner so he can start working on that cut, and that blood is flowing out of Graziano's eye as Graziano, after the second stoppage of time for the doctor uh, to look at the cut. Lamada tried to jump in quickly and Graziano nailed him with a right hand and staggered him. Tremendous action. Tremendous action in this fight. In Lamada's corner they're happy but that swelling 
is very bad. And they also have to be a, a bit shocked at how many times Graziano has been able to hurt Lamada. The man with the iron chin. And drop him with a tremendous body shot early on in this fight. That was a very close round. I uh, I had that round even. What? To, let's go to our unofficial score. He gave it slightly to Graziano. That's very interesting. I had the round even. So our unofficial score now has Graziano up by three rounds. Plus the point for the knockdown, so by four points. As we now get ready for the start of round 12. And they're still feverishly working on Graziano's eye in his corner. And referee Ruby Goldstein's starting to admonish them, saying the beginning of the round is coming up. And there's the bell. And the, the, the Graziano's eye, they did stop the bleeding. They did stop the bleeding. As both fighters now come out to the center of the ring. And, uh, oh, they're just standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is toe-to-toe -to -toe action here. There's no clinching. There's no mauling. There's just brawling. Toe-to-toe -to -toe combinations. Hands are fast and free-flowing. Oh, lefts and rights by both men. The crowd is going wild. Unbelievable action here in round 12 as it has become a slugfest in the center of the ring. And Graziano is grudgingly gaining ground on Lamada as Lamada is grudgingly giving up a little ground. As Graziano, Lamada seems to be landing more punches, but Graziano is landing the harder punches, thus Lamada giving ground. As he continues, Graziano just continues to press the attack. And, and and now Graziano lands a low blow, another low blow, and Kavanaugh is now, I'm sorry, Ruby Goldstein is now admonishing him for low blows, but he does not take a point away yet. I don't know why, as once again, he is warning him, and now he, the fighters uh, continue to fight as he brings them together and once again they just go right at it right at it in the center of the ring and my god as Lamana lands a couple of very very quick combinations but Graziano lands a tremendous shot to the solar plexus and Lamana just looks to be running out of gas at this point and and, and Graziano is is hitting Hitting him with some good shots, but nothing nothing that's the go-home punch. As Lamada is is staying tight, but he is taking punishment here. And it's a close round here. Both fighters trading. Uh, an another good solid shot. Not the go-home punch by Graziano. And there's the bell to end round 12. That was a close round. A lot of action. And I am not sure. I do not believe a point was taken away for the two low blows that Graziano scored. But with those two low blows and that tremendous punch to the solar plexus, Lamada has just seemed out of steam. Uh, but he was throwing punches, but they seemed like there was nothing on them. And uh, I, I, it was a close round, but I gave that round to Graziano. And let me see what our unofficial scorer has. And he has also given that round to Graziano. So we have Graziano up now in points by five. And uh, in rounds... By four, I believe, as I have to go back and check my scorecards here. But let's get over to Graziano's corner first. They've done a great job on the um, cut eye as it did not reopen. And there was tremendous action in that round. Uh, Lamada probably threw and landed a few more punches. But really nothing, too much nothing on them. And Graziano definitely landed the harder punches. And... A lot of ringside experts who had come here to watch this fight and come here to crown Lamada the better fighter and already had him winning this fight um, are in shock right now. Uh, they they know that Graziano is winning this fight at this moment. Um, and, and Lamada is a very strong, tough man, but not, as his record shows, a knockout puncher. He has a good punch, but he's not a, a one-punch knockout artist. Where Graziano is. And, and at this point, Graziano is winning the war on the inside. He's winning the war of aggression. And he's winning the strength war as he outmuscles Lamada most of the time. 
So they're working on Lamada's eye in their corner, but that swelling is pretty bad. It's kind of funny, in my opinion, that they have not had the doctor look at that swelling yet. Um, so as we're getting ready for round 13, and as they used to like to call it, the hard luck round. And Lamada seems very tired. He's very slow getting off his stool. Al Cerdo's trying to exhort him, trying to encourage him. But And there's the bell. And the start of round 13. And Graziano rushes out to meet Lamada. But he's met with a quick combination. And, and Lamada is is really letting his hands go now. But he's keeping a, a, a proper distance. As wow, I did not think Lamada had it in him. He, he's, he's reaching deep down now. And... and Hitting Graziano early and often here in round 13. Graziano seems to be trying to load up with a big right hand. And he fires one and he misses. So he just seems to try to be loading up right now. And he throws a wild left hook and misses. And all during this time, uh, Lamada is pecking away and landing good punches and scoring points here. And I did not think Lamada still had this energy in him as he looked dead tired coming off his stool. Could this be his last hurrah here? And uh, now they fall into a clinch, and, and Graziano it, it walks him, forces him back to the ropes, and now they break, and Graziano lets his hands go, and he's ripping away. Tremendous uppercut by Graziano. Lamada is trying to hold on. His legs have gone to jelly. Graziano pounding away here midway through the round. Has Lamada trapped on the ropes? Was that early Lamada? flurry and advantage his last hurrahs Graziano continues to land uh, solid punches and Lamada is trying to roll and dip and dive to avoid them but he is getting hit he is getting hit and that eye is swelling up very badly very badly as we're coming down to the last minute last minute of this round and oh, and Gra oh my god Lamada comes firing off the ropes with body shots firing off the ropes oh that stunned Graziano he looks shaken what reserves by Jake Lamada as a tremendous combination, and he beats Graziano off the ropes and back towards the center of the ring, and there goes the bell. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say about the, about that round 13. Tremendous round for Jake LaMotta, as Graziano was very shaken at that end of that round. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I did not think LaMotta had anything left, and he reached deep down, not into his second reserve, not into his third reserve, but to me, his fourth reserve and just came fighting off the ropes like a mad badger. Hitting Graziano with combination after combination. And Graziano was forced, pushed back and forced to the center of the ring as the bell sounded. It's a miracle that that cut did not reopen. As they were looking at that cut in his corner right now and I don't know how it didn't reopen I mean it, it, there's a slight trickle of blood but my god that Eddie Aliano is just one of the best cut men in this business as the blood should have been free flowing after that and uh in Lamada's corner Al Cerdo is extremely happy with that extremely happy but as you look at him and he exerted a lot of energy he looks dead tired but it's been a tremendous fight here the fans are on their feet they're yelling they're screaming Unbelievable fight. This is a candidate for fight of the year. As we're getting ready for the start of round 14. And that was uh, definitely a Lamada round. Yeah, and, and so I still think, as does the unofficial score, that Graziano is ahead on points. And, and Lamada might need a knockdown to get even in this fight and win these and, and win round 14 and 15. And still might need a knockdown to win a decision. Because we have Graziano ahead by, let's check this out, four points with two rounds to go. So, I have to call it now. I think Lamont is going to have to stop him to win this fight. And there is the bell for round 14. 
And both fighters go to the center of the ring as they only know, as Graziano only knows how to fight. There's no boxing in Graziano. He comes right to the center of the ring, and he looks determined to take the play back away from Jake LaMotta as both fighters are banging away, banging away on the inside. Uh, LaMotta getting the better of it now with quick combinations, and uh, Graziano continues to hammer away as he holds LaMotta, and Ruby Goldstein is issuing another warning um, the tough physical fight and that eye now Goldstein starting to look at Lamada's eye and that is shut it looks shut to me and Graziano leaps in with a right hand but it falls short of the target and Lamada counters him counters him and Graziano uh, is caught by that and he staggers into the ropes and he is struggling to stay upright as Lamada is letting his hands go here he is letting his hands go and referee Ruby Goldstein, as did he stop the fight? No, wait. He is calling a stoppage in time, telling as the blood is is flowing, the blood is flowing from Graziano's eye, and oh wow, it's pouring out, pouring out like Niagara Falls. Uh, Lamada goes to a neutral corner, and uh, Graziano is telling him he's all right. And they're calling for the ringside physician. This cannot be good, folks. This is the third time the ringside physician is coming up to take a look at Graziano's eye. But will they stop this fight? Um, Graziano, to me and most ringside observers, is ahead in this fight. But that is a lot of blood. And the physician is looking at it. And he is telling Ruby Goldstein to stop the fight as Graziano is telling him, no, no, no. This fight is over. The winner at 1 minute and 54 seconds of the 14th round by technical knockout due to a cut over Rocky Graziano's left eye is Jake LaMotta. Oh, Graziano is dejected. He is frustrated. He did not want this fight stopped. He was hurt on the ropes, but... And that is a very bad cut. I, I feel for Graziano as he was hurt, but he was not out of it. And... Uh, Wow, just tremendous reserve by Jake LaMotta. Hats off to Jake LaMotta. When I thought he was done, uh, he just reached down, like I said, for his fourth reserve, and he just let his hands go. And that cut, really, once that opened up, Graziano really could not see too well, as you could only expect, as blood was pouring into that eye. And LaMotta just let his hands go and continued to throw punches, and Graziano was not known for his defense, really didn't block too many of them. He was trying to. Th I mean, he was throwing punches back when when referee Ruby Goldstein put a halt to the action. I th initially thought he had called for the TKO then, but he asked for the ringside physician to take a look at it and the stoppage of the fight here in round 14. The crowd is going wild here at Yankee Stadium. Unbelievable. As Graziano is in his corner and they're working on that cut, he's very dejected. They're trying to get him to sit on that stool so they can work on the cut. He just keeps standing up, refusing to sit. He did not want this fight stopped. Uh, hats off to Rocky Graziano and Jake LaMotta. Tremendous effort put forth by both fighters. Unbelievable fight. Unbelievable. Just as the ending was unbelievable. And now Johnny Addy to give the official announcement of what we already know happened. As he waits for the ring side microphone to come down here at Yankee Stadium. To a very excited crowd all around ringside. Oh, they'll be talking about this fight for years. It was everything that people thought it would be. Tremendous action. Both fighters giving and taking. And here's Johnny Addy with the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee on uh, advice from the ringside physician has stopped the bout at 1 minute and 55 seconds gone in round 14. Your winner by technical knockout, Jake LaMotta, as the crowd is roaring with appreciation for LaMotta, but also appreciation for a tremendous fight. And, and and you have to feel for Graziano here. So let's let's get a let's see if we can get a hold of the um, official scorecards and see how at the end of round thirteen how they had it scored. Though it will not matter as Jake Lamata won by TKO due to that cut. 
and due to his tremendous heart and effort, both men in this fight showed tremendous grit, tremendous effort, tremendous heart. And when I thought Lamada was done, he reached down. He reached down very deep, and he won this fight. Hats off to him. So, let's see. All right, we were able to obtain these scorecards here. So, Blake Allen of the United States, um, after 13 rounds, and they were scoring the fight on the 10-point must system, had Rocky Graziano... 125 in points. Jake Lamada, 121 in points. So we were right. We, were, we had it about four point difference, four or five point difference there. Judge Richard Green of the United States, after 13 rounds, had Rocky Graziano, 125 points. Jake Lamada, 121 points. So Graziano was well ahead on two scorecards after 13 rounds. Judge Dave Mor Moretti, also of the United States, scored the, the bout after 13 rounds. Rocky Graziano, 123 points. Jake Lamada, 123 points. So he had it even. He had it even. Um, the title bout simulation scorecard on just pure points had, after 13 rounds, Rocky Graziano. This is just pure points um, by the title bout championship boxing simulation Rocky Graziano 373 points Jake LaMotta 365 points Graziano was well ahead well ahead Dave Moretti had it even I could see that if one of the rounds goes uh, those couple of close rounds that were given to Graziano if they go the other way it's an even fight um, I still thought the four points was correct but it doesn't matter because it, LaMotta was his judge and jury tonight so a quick recap of the fight statistics. One knockdown was scored. It was scored by Rocky Graziano with a tremendous body shot that dropped Jake LaMotta in early in the fight. And LaMotta was up. He took the standing eight count. Graziano tried to finish him off, but there was just no time, no time uh, to finish him off in round seven as the knockdown came close towards the end of the round. And... So, Lamata survived that. From there on in, it was back and forth with Graziano um, getting the better of it. And he was ahead. He was ahead on our card by four points, on two, of the th on two of the three judges' cards by four points, and one judge had it even, as we said, Dave Moretti. But it did not matter because when we thought that Lamata was all done, he reached down once again and just let his hands go, and that cut reopened. And he had Graziano pinned on the ropes. And even though Graziano was trying to be defensive and throw punches back, uh, referee Ruby Goldstein halted the action, had the ringside physician take a look at that eye for a third time. And unfortunately, the third time was the charm. Fortunately for LaMotta and unfortunate for Graziano. And the fight was stopped with much protest by Rocky Graziano and his corner. Okay, let's see here. Punches landed uh, by the round. Graziano landed approximately 23 punches per round. And LaMotta landed 30, approximately 32 punches. But Graziano's punches were the much harder punches. Um, even when LaMotta had him pinned on the ropes and would win shortly by TKO, he was not... He, he, was, he, he had him stunned, but that was more due to, in my opinion, the blood going into Graziano's eye and him not... When you can't see the punches coming, they're going to really stun you. And that's just my opinion. Um, LaMotta landed more and uh, missed more, and but Graziano also missed his fair share of punches. Um, punching accuracy. Again, LaMotta was the better puncher. His accuracy was 46%. Graziano's accuracy was 38%. But the harder punches were definitely Rocky Graziano. Well, we're winding down here at Yankee Stadium, and the buzz is still around as everyone is still talking about the fight, the tremendous matchup it was. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you to What If Promotions to put this fight together. 
And I think there were a lot of shocked people. I think Teddy Atlas, Burt Sugar, and all the other experts who thought that... I mean, they were right. LaMotta did win the fight by TKO on the 14th. No matter what, he won the fight. But the tremendous effort that Rocky Graziano and Jake LaMotta put up, I think they thought that Graziano would be steamrolled by Jake LaMotta, and it just didn't happen. LaMotta showed once again his tremendous reserves, fortitude, and courage by reaching deep down and winning a fight that looked lost. So from Yankee Stadium, this is Al Red Sox fan saying, thank you for joining me on this tremendous fight matchup on this fight night. Thank you very much. Thank you to What If Promotions. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. And also, leave comments. I would love to have your thoughts about this. And what fights would you like to see? So signing off from Yankee Stadium. Once again, Jake LaMotta, the winner over Rocky Graziano. TKO in the 14th round due to a cut on the left eye. Tremendous fight. Have a good night. God bless. Take care.